Hey everybody! For just a second, I want you to imagine that you are back in your school, or I guess back in Zoom school. Think about the kind of things that you would learn there. Okay, so for today, we're gonna start with social studies. So there's a guy named Lewis and a guy named Clark, and they explored the Missouri River. Very good, awesome. Yeah. Perfect. Well, well, that's important information. It's something you need to know. Okay, now we're gonna get to math. Math is so important. So we're gonna do a math problem today, and we need to think about place value, because if you don't know place value, you can't solve this problem correctly. We're gonna do 100 plus 30 plus six. And that equals, that's right, 136. Also important, I mean, you've gotta understand place value if you wanna do math. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do some spelling. We're gonna start with a word that's something you probably have been doing a lot of while we've been at home the past couple of months. We're gonna spell the word puzzle. Ready? Here we go. P U Z Z L E. Puzzle. Perfect. Yeah, spelling words. You know, camouflage always tripped me up. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know how to spell that, so we're gonna oh. go. Okay. Well, thanks. <laughs> Have you ever noticed that when you learn things at school, usually you're waiting to be told something? Your teachers are awesome and brilliant and they know exactly what you need to know as a kindergartner or third grader or fifth grader. You sit there in class and you soak up all that information like a sponge. You know, your, pr your teachers probably have a lot of really cool ways to get that information into you as well. Well, consider this, as you get older, you'll find you're gonna do a lot less being told to do something and a lot more discovering. I mean, that's how science works. You do experiments because you wanna figure out uh, why an onion makes you cry or why a thundercloud can be full of ice and hail when it's 90 degrees outside. You don't just wanna tell someone or be told, you wanna find out for yourself. God made us so that we can learn really well by asking questions and talking these things through. It turns out that talking is actually a really great way that we can focus on God. Jesus showed us exactly what that can look like in a conversation that he had with his disciples, his friends. Jesus started off by asking his friends a really important question. Uh, Jesus asked his friends, Who do they say the Son of Man is? A in other words, Jesus was asking, Who do they say I am? And that's a really good question. And it started a really good conversation. Let's see how Jesus' disciples responded to Jesus. The disciples were like, Who do people say you are? Well, Jesus. But what about you? Who do you say I am? Some say John the Baptist. Some say Elijah, others say Jeremiah were one of the prophets. And maybe that sounds like a strange thing for them to say, but you have to remember that there was clearly something very special about Jesus. He was healing people and teaching people, I mean, doing things that only someone that came from God could do. Oh, he was but healing the blind? He was also healing the deaf of people who couldn't hear. I can hear! I can hear! Yes! Jesus also healed people that were injured or hurt. If you were to ask a bunch of people today who Jesus is, some of them would probably say he's a teacher or a leader. And Jesus is a great teacher and a great leader, but he's also so much more. Listen to what Jesus says next. 
But I ask you, who do you say I am? And that's when Peter spoke up. You are the Messiah. You are the Son of God. Jesus was really impressed with what Peter had said. Up until then, Jesus was the one teaching and healing and loving. And he told Peter that his answer had come from God and that Peter would take on the miracles that Jesus had been doing. He said that Peter would be the rock, the one who would be the foundation of his church to love others. You're the Messiah! Peter had spoken the truth. Jesus is the Messiah, the Savior, the Son of God, the one who came to die on the cross for our sins so that we can have a relationship with God that will last forever. There were definitely times that Jesus told people he is the Son of God. But it is interesting that in this conversation with his friends, Jesus started with a question. He wanted to talk with them and see what they had to say. Sure enough, Peter came up with an incredible answer, the answer that all people who believe in Jesus can agree on. Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Here's a great way we can focus on God. We can talk about Him. We can ask questions. We can celebrate when we understand something new about Him. And we can be honest about the things that we don't understand. The bottom line here is, you can talk to God with others about what you believe. That's what we do here at TC3. We talk with each other about God, about all of the cool things that God is doing in our lives and about the things we're discovering about Him every day. You can talk about God with your family too and your friends. When you talk with others about what you believe, you can learn from them and they can learn from you. Let's pray and ask God to help us focus on Him. Dear God, thank you so much for giving us voices and minds so we can talk to our friends and family about you. I pray that you will help us to have great conversation about who you are today with our small groups. Thank you so much for being big enough to answer any questions we have. Even if they seem like they might be too big of a question, they're not too big for you. We thank you so much for who you are and for how much you love us. Amen. All right, guys, have so much fun the rest of today. You can go ahead and get into your small groups now and talk about those questions. Talk with each other about who God is. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.